Welcome to our channel. We are Debbie and Eric, and together we are enjoying life's adventures. We currently work full time, looking forward to an early retirement. In the meantime, we make sure to take the time to play, whether that is staying close by on our boat or taking mini vacations in the travel trailer. So come along with us as we enjoy life's adventures. Okay, so this is what we got going on. We peeled off the name, it was Gypsy Wind, and we are about to buff this out, try to get rid of the shadowing. So buffing compound, wheel, we'll try to clean this up, see how it goes. Completed the back of taking off the name. Don't know if you can see, but it looks like a mirror shine to me. Barely see any traces of the name. I am going to put a new seal around the propane locker and the lazarette. And I'm going to use this foam tape camper seal. So it's supposed to be for truck beds to seal up a truck bed. So I'm going to pop this on here and see how that goes and see if that seals it up. So it's done. This stuff almost feels like some form of butyl tape with sticky adhesive. And we'll see how it works. And I'm going to clean out the lazarette and we'll do the lazarette with some of that sealant too. Hopefully we can keep this a little drier. Well, put the seal around the hatch, and it's got to get through those drain holes, so I didn't want to put the seal all the way down, so there should be a water channel that will leak out, but I think this will close it, at least, and kind of seal it up a little better. Both of them are done. Alright, so the next thing I got to do... So I got to replace this halyard that I just replaced because I replaced it with the main sheet uh, and took the other one home, washed it, and sitting over there, I don't know if you can see it, but there was some issues with the rope, so I don't trust it. So I went out, had Debbie go out into West Marine, bought some new rope, about 100 and, I believe 150 feet or so of rope for the halyard. And this would be for a spinnaker halyard so I'm going to replace that and then that blue and white line over there is going to replace the uh, lazy jacks so I got the lazy jacks going up there all right so I sewed the lines together and wrapped them with electrical tape and now I'm going to hoist it up and fish one line through the other So today is a big day for us. <laughs> we are, or I should say, Eric is going to be going up the mast. Uh, we have our daughter and son-in-law coming to help hoist him up and bring him back down. Just kind of be as backup in case something goes wrong. Cause I certainly do not have the upper body strength to hold him up there if something were to go wrong. <laughs> Smoke that butt up the mast. So right now we have a list and of what he needs to take with him. We're just getting ready to go through that list and start taking everything out. Because we don't have mass steps, so it's all on you guys to lift. Maybe hugging for dear life. It's not so much about going up because you guys just got a hand crank. It's about coming down, whether or not Debbie can hold me going down. So. I'd rather have my daughter. She's carrying around a 25 pound baby yeah. all the time, or a kid all the time. She's got upper body strength. We won't bore you with uh, pulling everything out, getting it ready. We will check in when we're getting ready to hoist that man up. And I'll let you know whether we decide to leave him up there or bring him back down. <laughs> Well, we're getting closer. 
He's now loading up the pockets. We did a little test run. Didn't show that, but we'll do another test run when our daughter gets here. And then away he goes. Well, our daughter's here to help me. Hi, Tori. Hi. And she's got her dad's birthday present. You know who painted that? The background. Well, gee. Her grandson painted Ooh. that background. Thank you. That turned Can out that nice. Can that go on the boat yet? It does not have the name on it, honey. As long as it doesn't have the name. Yep. And it's got something on the back. Happy 50th birthday, Grandpa E. Dad, we love you so much. Love always, Gary and Victoria. Oh, thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Well, he's past the spreader lights now, and we're gonna have to get new ones. We went up to the store and bought some new ones, but they hook up there differently and he doesn't have the tools needed. Eh, store up our lives, no big deal. We'll just send him up again next weekend. So right now he's putting some cotter pins up there where the lazy jacks are, and then we'll be sending him up the rest of the way. He's up there. I think he's at the top. He's spraying for spiders right now. And now make sure the lines are the same way. Well, we didn't record him coming down, but he's down safe and sound. So what'd you find out up there, hon? We got more problems. And more problems. Always more problems. So I already talked about the spreader lights. So you got to the very top, the wind stuff works okay? Yeah. What are the wind things? The wind vane? No, they don't work right. They don't work right either? It's always something. It's a boat. It's always something. That's right. Plus not another thousand. But, if it's a retirement boat, fix it now and then you don't have to fix it again for another 30 years. It's like a house. There you go. You don't replace the roof and you don't have to do it for another 30 years, hopefully. And we'll catch up with you on the next project. My job today is taking off some old tape that was put on the stainless steel rails. Who knows how long ago. Um, we know it's been sitting on here at least 10 years. So I'll get the goo gone, I got the razor blade, and that's going to be my job. This is what it looks like now. So it's kind of faded here, but you can kind of see residue left of the tape. And it's even underneath. So I'm gonna get the razor blade underneath there. I've gotta do this rail. And I gotta do these. Those are completely greenish blue from the tape. So it was taped and then for Varnishing the teak. So that's all gonna come off. Oh, see, I get to do this long rail too. There's some residue left on this one. And I think, I think that's it. Got all the tape off. It's looking pretty good. I got that one done. And then I got the one that was totally blue and green. So the teak protector for the lines. And then the other track. All complete. It's that time of the weekend where we get to cross off stuff we've completed this weekend. Alright. We put check marks so they're easy to find. All right, we finally replaced all of the sheets. Halyards, lines, right? Yeah. We got one oh. halyard to go as the flag halyard, but I just ordered it. So we got the line up there for it. So that won't be hard. 
off and wax back in the boat. Done. You can no longer see the old name. Well, I checked off you cleaned the mass, even though we're not quite done up at the top. Add seal. The mast headlight is the one that you were able to fix. Yeah. The mast. Yeah, the mast. It's not the mast headlight. It's no, the mast, mast head, head light. Light. Yeah. Set it all together. Um, finally got to West Marine. Got, got the, the poles. poles. We still need the hooks. Yeah, the hooks that hook in the poles to wherever we're going to mount them. We don't have to have that. No, we, we don't. We can throw it in the lazarette, but I'd rather have hooks like on our own boat. Alright. So these are the things that we wanted to do. Is it on this list? Mm hmm Oh, okay. All right, so... Lists of lists. Lists of them. lists. So we went up the mast and inspected. Yep. We found some stuff that we got to fix up there. But that's on the other list. We labeled the sea cats. Yep. Organized the beaver. Did we show them the labeling of the sea cats? No, we can do that. Sea cat, labeled. Sea cat. Label. So that way, if somebody has to get to these quickly, you can open it up and there's the sea cock right there. So you can pull the lever and shut off any flow coming out. So. Alright, so that's done. Actually got a lot done this weekend. And you notice our lists are getting longer on other sheets. So. <laughs> oh, we can cross off Get Radar working. It's working. Oh, that's right. I did that. We didn't check that. We yeah. just did that today. That wasn't really a, an issue. I just had to figure out the commands on the chart plotter to get it to work. Everything's good now. Cool. We're getting closer. Another weekend down. All right, let's go home.